Hi. In the last video, we talked about motivation and how can we remain motivated by remaining in the Goldilocks zone. What is a Goldilocks zone? If you see a chart, x-axis with difficulty and y-axis with motivation, if you choose the right amount of difficulty, you will, your motivation levels will be high and that's called the Goldilocks zone. The chart is attached, please see it. In this video, I'm going to talk about something else and what to do, let's say, if motivation totally fades, there's zero motivation in life. Before I tell you what to do when motivation fades, let me first tell you a story. The story is about Akbar and Bibal. One day, Akbar, who is highly demotivated, no matter what he's done, or no matter how much he's conquered, or what good he's done, there are always problems in the kingdom. And he has reached a point where saying that, no matter what I do, no matter what I fix, problems will can, can keep on coming. And that day, on a day which is very low, he calls and says, Birbal, my friend, tell me, tell me something. That when I listen to it day after day, I will feel better, I will feel motivated to work. And Birbal there gives him a phrase to read or to see whenever he gets demotivated. And the phrase is, this too shall pass. And that's true not only for Akbar, it's for us as well. No matter how hard times you're going through right now, no matter what challenges you're going through right now, one thing is true, and that too will pass. And if you realize that, you have the courage to work through the days or the challenges ahead of you. Now, what is this phrase? This phrase is a change in your attitude, a change in your thought. You have to get away from the negative thought that you have of being saying that this is unsolvable, this is too hard, this is too difficult to a phrase in your mind that says that this too shall pass and overcome it and be a better person and I'll have better days. These phrases are sometimes referred to as affirmations. If I ask you who is your number one problem or who is your number one enemy or who you know is stopping you from getting better unfortunately it's not the world outsiders it's not our neighbors it's not the society it's not our parents it's not our teachers our number one problem our number one enemy is our thoughts is our mental chatter our negative thoughts we have we probably say the worst things to ourselves we probably hate ourselves the worst than anybody else when you say the words I'm not good enough I'm not smart enough or this is too hard for me I'm not good enough I'm not loved enough you are hurting yourself more than anybody in the outside world can hurt you. And this brings down your motivation. Now if you take the word motivation and he says, what is the meaning of the word motivation? Motivation is coming from the word motion, that is to move. When you're demotivated, you're not moving in any direction, you're stuck. To be motivated, to be highly motivated, you're moving in many directions at the same time. And you love to meet a person who's highly motivated because that person is driven, that person wants to excel, that one wants to achieve, that person wants everything in this world. You meet a highly demotivated person, no matter what you do, there is no motion or there is no movement in any direction. Now, how do we get from the point of low motivation, where motivation is faded, to a point of good motivation. The first and the very most important thing, motivation is nothing but energy. If you're a very lethargic person, you are a person who doesn't move from your couch, you've got zero physical activity, you don't have an energy, my friends. To be motivated, first see whether you're living a very sedentary life. If you're living a very sedentary life, 
your motivation level has been absolutely low get some physical activity you have to have minimum 10000 steps a day i have a you know i have a watch here a fitbit watch and i make sure that i don't go to bed without 10000 steps in a day that's the least i can do if you're a young student you should be hitting like around 15000 20000 steps a day you should be hitting the gym or at least running for 20 minutes a day no matter how old you are 10000 steps is the required to be to move your body to get some amount of motion and when there is some amount of physical motion there will be motivation you realize that human beings has a species we've probably been there for 100 1000 years and it's only in the last 50 years we've been living such a sedentary life so what is going to happen to our body what's going to happen to our mind if we live this lifestyle so that's the first part if you're not motivated move move physically the second part that you can do is what birbal did to akbar is to give an affirmation affirmation is a phrase that you tell your mind to get away from the negative to the positive now you have to be careful when you're doing metformations okay now affirmation is let's say you're a student in j main you're a student of neat and you were saying to your brain you're saying to your mind that i will score the first rank in j main <laughs> that's not an affirmation if you're saying that i'll score seven more than 700 in the neat and that is not an affirmation an affirmation is the action that you're going to take to get to those goals let's say you are a student of again j main and your goal is to reach somewhere in the 99.9th percentile that's pretty much like a thousand rank you are saying that i'm going to solve two mock test papers a week I'm going to write two J mock test papers a week. That's the action that you're affirming. You're telling your mind, you're closing your mind emotionally, mentally. You're feeling that I, you're saying your name and says, I'm going to write two mock tests a day, a week. Sorry. Similarly for meat. If you are a parent and you have to go, you feel frustrated with your children. You are probably affirming that I, what your name is, and saying that. being a better father or a better mother by doing the subsequent action you are changing the wiring in your brain remember that our minds are a result of all the affirmation all the things that people have said to us or what the red we have read read about it or we've seen on the tv you have to change our mind you have to change the programming in the mind and the one way to change the program in our mind is to affirm the behavior that you want to we all i including you including want to be motivated because that is the only way we will move towards our goal our dreams our purpose in life and to be motivated to be in that zone you have to choose the right come out of difficulty so that we remain motivated but if you are not motivated there are two simple things you have to do move physically first and change the programming in your brain by doing positive affirmations i wish and i hope that all of you reach your goals and your dreams and your purpose i too want to and for that we need this motivation i hope my thoughts help you thank you